Hey guys, obviously we're still in Bacalar today and we rented these two bikes and we're gonna go on a cenote hopping tour. So we just set our Google and we're gonna head across town and then you'll see these beautiful ass cenotes, like four of them, three or four of them that we're gonna hit today. So should be an epic adventure. Stay tuned for that. We're on an important hunt for cervezas because Cenotes require cervezas, I heard. And we don't want to get caught without them. It's very dangerous. Okay, we've been riding probably about a half an hour so far. Uh, we passed the two for cenotes. I don't know if they're open yet. So we're going to go all the way to Cenote Azul, which is just down here somewhere. And we'll see. Okay, so we've arrived at our first cenote. It's called Cenote Cocolitos. And we're at this uh, Cocolitos Beach Club here, which cost us uh, 50 pesos each to enter. So about $3 Canadian. And that's the cenote right there. And they have these uh, ancient rock formations, one of the oldest biological life forms in the world. Um, they are called, boom, it's up on the screen now, because I forget, it's like Stromal strom leg tights or some shit i don't know but you'll be seeing those later and uh then we're gonna probably swim over to that cenote there and then later we will go to the next uh cenote azul and hopefully i can get a cerveza hey there's a little beach it's a good swimming okay stay tuned for that so you can see some of those organisms those things that look like rocks that's the uh rock for whatever the organisms that I put up on the screen earlier. <laughs> I should probably look it up and see what they are. So there's the cenote right there. Wow, guys, seriously, this is really incredible. Check out that water. Ooh, we're just gonna hang on on these swing sets for a bit. Wow. Do we really want to leave this place? <laughs> no. <laughs> for another cenote? That's not as nice. I don't well, know. Well, I know that it's gonna be packed. This one's the best. Yeah, because of the. The Stromalamba lights. The Stromalamba lights. So, first thoughts on this place is it's like one of the most incredible places we've ever been for sure. Yeah. It's super amazing. Everybody needs to come here, I swear. This is a lake. This is a freshwater lake we're sitting in. And we were gonna go to the other cenote, but now we're reconsidering because we might want to just stay here since we paid for the whole day and everything. So it's incredible. I don't think it gets better. So the grass always seems greener on the other side, but. So here is these giant organisms. We're not allowed to go through there and walk on them because it might wreck them. Yeah, just giant rock from, oh, there's cool fish down there. So I'm up close to these rock formations. The bottom's like sludge. My feet are sinking in like a freaking foot. There's like little clams all over.
of the rocks. These things are alive, I guess. A live rock. Crazy. Look at how clear this water is. I can see why they call it the Maldives of Mexico. Clear. This is the most incredible place in Mexico. And I, I mean, obviously we haven't been everywhere in Mexico, but damn, dude. So far we've been, been to a lot of places in Mexico. This is our number one favorite place. It's so amazing. It is like Maldives. Yeah. And I've never even been there, but I'll just say it. All right, guys, so we finished our day at Cocalitos, Little Cocaine, it's called. Um, and we are headed back on our bikes. We got a little roasted, uh, but honestly, it was the most beautiful place we've ever visited in our entire lives. Highly recommend it, highly, highly recommend it. For 50 pesos, you can't beat it. Incredible. So that being said, toodles!